All right, welcome to today's show. Y'all don't want to miss this. Today we're in Matagorda, Texas, trying to chase the elusive triple tail. Welcome to the Texas Saltwater Series Fishing Show, home of some of the hottest fishing action on the Gulf Coast, with your hosts, Jim Elrod and Scott Simmons. Join us as we travel the Texas coast, fishing with some of the state's top anglers. Sponsored by Cabela's, Blue Wave Boats, Suzuki Marine, Minn Kota, Humminbird, Kielbasa, Castaway Rods, Strike Pro Lures, and Executive Signs. We hit the water at daybreak. This was an exciting day for Jim and I. We had never been triple tail fishing before. We had no idea what to expect. Come on, triple tail. Give me my first one. The boat driver has to be alert. When that fish is on, you have to get as far away from that buoy as you can. You have a hit? Yep. I got fish on. Holy! Jeez! Hang on, I'm gonna back us up hard. Hang on. He's huge. Holy cow, look at that jump. That is a big fish, buddy. We gotta get him away from that pole. He's gone. He was big. <laughs> that dude, that was a 20 pounder. That fish was that big, That was a 20 pounder. <laughs> man, See, that came out of nowhere. You gotta get that pole? Yeah. I tried to. Are you broken off? Yeah, I'm broken off. Oh. We gotta go get that cork. Holy Broke the smoke. braid, buddy. We couldn't get him away from that pole fast enough. We hit four or five more markers, and we call this buoy hopping. I lost two more fish, and then we finally did everything right and got one into the boat. These fish are not easy to catch. Not a monster, but it's fish. Keep going. Watch that drag, watch that drag. All right. Possible first triple tail here in the boat. There we go, I'm gonna get the net. He's a small one. He's definitely not that 20 pounder earlier. <laughs> Take us a drag though, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. You ready? Is he ready? I don't know. I'm gonna bring him up. See what you can do, man. Here he comes, here he comes. Ready? Oh, that is a little one, but that's a fish. Look at there. Can we get the lip grips? Yeah, do that. Some pliers. Good shot. Uh, our rule is he catches it, I gotta take the hook out. Ooh. 
Woo. Oh, this is just coming off. He got hit in the head, didn't he? There he is. First triple tail. Nice looking fish. And what we did is we're just pulling up to all these poles on the intercoastal and you just got to keep that shrimp right on the pole. Now this is our first time out. Our friend Dwayne taught us how to do this and you'll see Dwayne uh, on this show fishing with Chris with Castaway. But uh, that's it right there. That's how you do it. And uh, as you can see, it's probably better to hire a guide. <laughs> <laughs> Had we had someone like Dwayne at the wheel, we probably would have caught that 20-pounder that Jim hooked. Oh, man. Uh, I'm sure we lost fish. that inexperience just not getting far enough away from that pole. But uh, there it is. Back in the water. There's a red pole. You like red better? <laughs> I don't care. After Jim got his first fish, it was my turn. It didn't take long before we saw two fish hanging out at the buoy. I thought this was finally my chance for my first triple tail, but the fish had other ideas. All right, next one. Dude, he is a monster. I'm gonna take out forward, he's right underneath He's on you. it, he's on it, he's on it. There's two of them. There's two of them. Why are they at your cork? He's on, he's on, he's on. Go, 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 go forward. Just go, go, go. Go, 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 Jim. Go, go, go. He's going straight towards you. Just go. Just go, go. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. How's your string? How's your string? He's still way out. He's off. Eleven foot deep. Dude, if I'm a triple tail, this is where I live. Right here. You know what's funny? We drove by this and didn't stop. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out why. I was like, that looks so good. Got bite, got bite, got bite. Fish on. Nope, nope. Trout, trout, trout. Trout! Nice trout. This is a nice trout. Decent little trout. We're gonna have a mess of trout today. Ooh, that's a fat one. Get my hands wet. Today on What's Hot, I want to talk to you about the new Humminbird 997C with the side imaging sonar and GPS system. Now, I want to show you this real quick. This is really cool. We're going to pull up on these rocks. As you can, you can see all the indentions on the bottom. You can see there's something right here on the bottom. But here's going to be what's really neat. You can see, see how that looks like the moon. That's what the bottom looks like underneath here in the harbor. But we're fixing to come up on these bricks. You see that right there? There's the wall of the bricks right there. And we'll show you what the bricks look like out of the water. And that's exactly what you're looking at. Now, some of the other features inside of here, you can put two chips. We use the Navionics Platinum in here. This right here is the Gulf of Mexico. And then we've also got one more stick in here, which is the memory stick. And that helps us keep track of all of our uh, places. If we ever sell the boat, sell the unit, we can put all of our fishing spots on memory in all of our tracks and take them until we use the next unit. So you've also got several different views here. Here's your bottom view. You've got your water temperature. This is for images if you ever want to take a snapshot of where you are. And then here's your different split maps. You can either do an aerial view. You can also do aerial satellite maps. The Humminbird 997C, that's what's hot. What's Hot is brought to you by Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine. 
Must jump in the boat with Captain Chris Williamson of Castaway Rods and Captain Dwayne Newburn as Dwayne takes Chris out for his first triple tail experience. <laughs> can honestly say I wasn't ready for that one, I guess. So. When you're not going to make that fish either one or two things, you're going to break your line, you're going to straighten your hook. Just, just, just way of the beast. <laughs> just go ahead and admit that from the get go. All right. Yes, Chris, tell me what Ooh, just happened. That was a rush. Caught me a little off guard, but uh, he won little, that one. <laughs> After the initial shock of the first fish wears off, Chris hooks into another triple tail. Now this was not as big as the first one, but these triple tail pack a punch. Even for a smaller fish, Chris has got his hands full. It's important to use a stout fishing rod and heavier line to land these fish, or they are going to break you off. About four pounds. Four pounds. There you go. There's the triple tail. Not quite as nice as the one Dwayne has on his wall. But... Gotta crawl before you walk, walk before you run. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Is it pretty typical to pick more than one off of a spot? Oh yeah. I four five. Right. Oh yeah. Done made her mad, Dwayne. Done made her mad. Where the size, whatever they buy, can't they? The way that one went down, I thought it was. As a baby. Just got us another little little undersized one, but uh, darn good fight for such a such a small fish. We're gonna get back up there and see if there's a bigger one waiting on us. I want a fish. There's a ton of them. I need closer. Okay. One second. Backing me up a little more. I 
If I can see him, he can see me. That's all I'm afraid of. Oh, that's good, that's good. Shoot, man, what is that? There's something down there circling this pole. String out? Yeah. Fish on! See what's going on here. These things are so tough to catch. That's my fourth one to hook today. I've yet to get one to the boat. Uh, that one was the closest and he just came off, but I never got a hook set because I had a slack in my line. Uh, you know, Jim's got one to the boat. He lost a 20 pounder. So now we're one for six, one for five. We're one for five today on these. We're gonna keep trying. We're not gonna give up. I just had something come up and swat at me. I don't know what it was. Oh, oh, oh. Time to move. Fish on. What is that? Pompano. That's what it is, yeah. Oh, it hit me. That's it's right a behind you. Oh, that? no, it's uh, what are those clown fish called? Trumpet fish. Look at him. See Is it? it a puffer? No, it's a trumpet fish. Well, we're probably going to call it a day on that. We uh, never done this before. First time, our friend Dwayne kind of gave us some pointers on what to do, and and we did it. And, uh, you got a fish on, got a fish on. Got a fish on. Yeah, moving forward. Oh, we got one. He's yeah. good. He's big. He's big. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Good, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> and right as I said, we were gonna, uh, we are gonna stop. We hook we up. We hook up. And I, he's not a monster, but I bet you he's six, seven pounds. Boy, these things fight. You have no idea. I mean, he just he just made another run. Where's our net? Uh, it's back here. We're about to call it a day. We decide to hit one more rig, and sure enough, we get on this triple tail. I think we about worn him out. That's like. Come on, uh oh, Jim. he saw the boat. Put him in the net. Uh oh, there he goes. There he goes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. There he is. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, you missed him. He dove. <laughs> he dove. <laughs> Give me some of that, Good man. Good job, man. We did it. Woo! We put one in a boat. Took all day. Besides that little four or five pounder. We said that we wanted to catch two triple tails. <laughs> First time out, never done this before, made all kinds of rookie mistakes losing them. When did we start at 7.30? Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, we had given up, decided to go offshore and try to catch a few kingfish. It was just a little rough out there, so. Well, let's see what we got here. Well, I can honestly say this is my personal best. He is shaking. Eight pounds, eight pounds. Now once we get the pliers and get this out of him, we'll here, here. come out real easy it looks like. You want to put your finger in his mouth? You go ahead. He's watching. Boy, no wonder there, they got little paper thin mouths in there. We've lost how many today that were hooked? Quite a few. At least five or six. Well, there it is right there. The elusive triple tail. <laughs> All right. We're gonna end it on that. We tried to end it once, I'm glad we didn't. <laughs> and, uh, and here in Matagorda, Texas, out here in the middle of the bay, fishing buoys. And we wanna thank Dwayne. We'll uh, give you his number right here if you wanna call and set up a triple tail trip. Uh, now's the time to do it. And uh, give him a call, cause he, uh, he probably would've put about five of these in the boat compared to our two. Oh, he's amazing. And, uh, 
Man, this is fun. All right, let's talk about the tackle we're using today on these triple tail. We're using the Shimano Corrado Super Free. This is the older one. We're using 30 pound braided line, which probably wasn't enough because it broke on us several times a day. We're using the Castaway Medium XP3. It's a seven footer. This is a Texas Redfish Series Edition. We're using Gamma. This is a fluorocarbon line. I believe it's 40 pounds. And uh, we're using probably about eight feet of it. And then what we've got is we've got about a foot a liter on a five aught hook. And then we've got some weight right here. This is gonna connect us and it's gonna stop right here where I tie the leader onto the braid. So that's gonna slide up and down. We're fishing about eight to nine feet deep today. And uh, it worked out really good. You know, we, uh, we learned from a few mistakes and, and uh, that's how you uh, learn to fish. I think we made a lot of them today. <laughs> If you'd like to catch a triple tail of your own, contact Dwayne Newburn at 361-652-7346. Closed captioning provided by Texas Tops, custom aluminum fabrication. Customize your boat with Texas Tops. If you would like to join in on the hottest tournaments on the Texas coast, go to www.saltwaterseries.com to find out more information about the redfish, trout, kayak, or kids tournaments. The 2009 schedule is set. Join the Texas Saltwater Series tournaments today.